Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a story time of my first day of high school in a wheelchair, my first day back in a new school, my first day back to school in general since I've been paralyzed, and my first day of high school. So I thought this, this would be kind of a good story. Um, and yeah, so let's start at the very beginning. Um, I went to this like program, I guess you could say, when I was in the hospital where I did like regular school, but it was like while I was in the hospital. So like I would do my therapy and then I go to school um, in the hospital. So that was great and all, but I didn't go back to school for the rest of my eighth grade year. And so I got injured on December 19th, 2018. And I didn't go back to school till the following year, 2019 high school so that was super it was a lot of change I'm not gonna lie and I don't love change but I feel like the overall situation was handled quite well um as far as like me like not freaking out and stuff but anyways so pretty much just there's this program where it's called the re-entry program where you go and you talk to all your teachers say like hey this is what I need to succeed for the school year and we talked to all my teachers and they were all like, um, so I, all, I met all my teachers before anyone else met their teachers, like before like freshman orientation. Um, and I was like, hey, this is what I need from you for me to be like the most successful, successful person that I can be. And it was really good, super productive, highly recommend. Um, yeah, so um, I got to meet all my teachers. I got to get like a desk that I could like work with because obviously everyone else's desk is like, has a chair attached to it. Um, just like the basic old like desk where like um, obviously I'm already in a chair so it's not like I can like you know and that's just a lot of work for me to like have to transfer to the desk every single day what if there's a fire like it's just a lot so I ended up getting a custom desk not really I mean they already had them but pretty much I just had one desk in the room where I would go and it was kind of like my assigned seating if you will um, and I would just go there every single day but we had to do that for the like reentry program and then we had to just like see where my classes were, if I needed to move any classes so that way I didn't have to go from like one part of the school to the other because my school is like really big. It actually is like 5,000 kids. So it's two buildings. One building's like humongous. The other one's still really big. Like a, one's like a, like a college and then one's like a high school. So um, I was just like, hey, can I just feel like the one main building instead of like having to cross like the whole parking lot to get to the other building and that was like one of the main things that I almost actually had to go across and I was like that's not gonna work like I really don't mind it but I just I don't want to be late to my class if I'm pushing like literally like almost like 0.2 miles like and I guess it's not that bad it really isn't I wouldn't mind if I did it it's just um it was outside what if it's raining I don't want to get my chair wet I don't be wet um, and overall, I just really wanted to stay in the main building, which was fine because there's so many classes, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. But that was kind of what the reentry program day was like. And then freshman orientation was when all the freshmen come back, but it's only freshmen, so there's no sophomore, juniors, or seniors, but it's our first day. So I go to freshman orientation, and I drive up. And I'm so nervous. There's so many cars. Because, again, this is, like, a 5,000. Like, there's 5,000 kids. So, the class of, like, the freshmen is, like, 1,000 plus people. So, I was, like, ah. And this is my first time being around kids, like, my own age. Because I've been in a hospital with therapists and uh, my parents. And I've been around, like, a bunch of, like, sick kids. I keep using quotation marks because... I don't know it's like really like I'm not trying to be like exact um but at the end of the day that's kind of what I was around I was around adults all day long and I've learned to almost like adapt in a sense so adapt yeah I don't really know but I just really got used to like hanging around with adults and honestly after my accident I really grew up a lot like I was a normal kid and then all of a sudden I had to learn how to be parent like I hadn't learned new things I had to learn everything so I just I really matured a lot through that whole process so when I went back I was like I don't really know like how I haven't really like hung out with kids of my own age except for like my volleyball team when I would like watch them play and stuff um but like they're like family honestly they're like literally my like 
like literally they're my family so I that was like easy like I love them but for like new people I was like kind of nervous but um, I went there and um, we drove up and I actually saw one of my volleyball, one of the girls on my volleyball team, one of my teammates. And I was like, thank God. And I love her, Caroline. She's the best. And she walked me inside or she like walked with me inside. And I was just so nervous, but I was so happy to see someone I know because I did not want to walk in alone on the first day. Like, how, like, awkward would that be? It wouldn't be, like, the end of the world, but I just would have felt, like, a lot better if, like, someone would, like, come with me. Um, but, yeah, so I ended up walking in with them, and then I saw, like, a big group of my friends. And overall, it just really worked out from that sense. But then I went to Miss Williams' office, which was, like, the principal. Um, I hung out with her, like, a lot throughout the year. Almost, I probably saw her more than I saw my own parents. Like, that's how much... Um, I like was with her like all the time. Um, I love her. So I, um, so pretty much I, sorry, I'm like blanking. Okay. So then I go to Miss Williams office and, um, I just waited there and I was like, okay, like, can I have my schedule? I got my schedule. Um, then I went to this thing called advisory where it was like kind of like a home room or like a, where you like get your schedule. You kind of go there on like important days, like for your, um, report cards or any of that. Like those kind of days, if you have like a schedule switch, if you have like a field day or like a, um, I don't know, just like some event, like SAT, like just anything like that, where it's like an, like a special day or like a holiday or something or some, like if we need paperwork, we go to that class. So it's called advisory. So we went to advisory and I accidentally went to the wrong class and I was sitting there, but the class I went to is my math class. So I thought it was my right class because, well, it has my desk and that's like, it was on my schedule, but my schedule had changed. So I actually was in the wrong class. So he was like, hey, like this is a wrong class. You need to go to this class. I was like, okay, great so embarrassed it was so awkward looking back it's like really not that big of a deal but I was so embarrassed um but then I went to this other class and I like wheeled in there and I see like all of my um I see like all these people and I was like oh my god like I think I'm late and I just sat there and it was like the most awkward thing ever and there was it, this was like another like room that I've never been to and there was no desk for me so I literally had to sit in like the back corner it was so bad but then I went to my I went back to my math class because that was like my first class and I actually like a ton <laughs> whoa I actually had like a ton of my friends in that class so it really turned out to be like fine but yeah and that was kind of and then I went to my class and I went to lunch I sat with some of my volleyball friends um and yeah I actually it was good I don't really have any complaints other than that like it was like a rough start but then it got better which is like so, I was so excited about because the way that day started I was getting nervous because I was like ah like what is happening but um yeah it was a good school year I'm not gonna lie that was kind of my first day um went to lunch and then I left at two o'clock where like everyone else had to stay till 3 30 because I have therapy so I went to therapy but overall it was pretty good um no real complaints um I honestly don't really remember that much of the day other than that because it was like kind of a traumatic experience um but it really wasn't that bad I, I just remember it because I was so embarrassed but um really the other than that the day went really good I remember getting like a ton of stairs like I remember like every second like I went down a new hallway I was getting so many stairs especially if I wasn't with like a friend group I always felt like if I was with someone I was like talking to them um it was fine but like whenever I was like alone for some reason I just like everyone was staring at me maybe it was because everyone always stares at me but when I'm talking to people I'm not really like noticing but like I always notice when I'm just like wheeling um I almost got trampled like one or two times because again school is humongous so whenever I would go down the halls or like the intersections and stuff like I would get like trampled but like um yeah so that's kind of my first day story um Nothing super crazy went down, but I thought I would share with you guys. Um, I have so many good stories that happened this year that's, like, mind-blowing. Like, my first fire drill. Like, that's something we went over in my, um, like, re-entry program. We went over, like, what I do in, like, a fire. Like, what I do if, like, there's, like, a break-in or something. 
Um, but yeah, that's kind of my first day story. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Super short, super chill. Um, but I thought it would be kind of cool to share with you guys my first day. Um, now that like the school year's over, it's crazy to think that this year went by so fast. I can't even like wrap my head around how fast it went, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and stick around for videos three times a week. Uh, I'm trying to figure out my schedule. I think it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I don't want to be like, it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday because it might not be. I might be like, hey, like here's a Tuesday video. Here's a Thursday video. Um, but for the most part, it will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.